Hey, good afternoon, everyone. How are you doing? Jim Davis here again from the Fluke Network's Technical Assistance Center. And I'm happy to report we have a new version of firmware to release. We're trying to get about three to four releases during the year. The tester's pretty stable, it's working well, but the standards are changing and we've got a new feature that doesn't apply to everyone, but I think you'll find this interesting. And this is the last step to cover what the features were in the DTX. The DTX had a feature called spool testing. You may not have been aware of it. Actually, we'd rather call it single-ended testing. And the idea is, I've got about a thousand feet of cable here. And before I put this thousand feet of cable in the wall, I wanna make sure that it's in good condition. I hate to put it all in the wall and then find out there's a problem with the cable. So how do I do this testing? First, we put on our safety glasses. Now, we're gonna go into our test limit. I'm gonna edit the test limit I have here. Drill in, I'll select more, and swipe up. This is in the other test limit library. Now, we're gonna have to go way through a lot of different test limits here. And when we get down to the bottom, we're gonna get to TA Cat5e cable and TA Cat5e patch cable, patch cable being stranded. Now it says LA on the end of it, and that LA stands for lab adapter. If we just want to measure the cable and not the connecting hardware, we would like to avoid having to go through any type of connection. So this is actually a lab adapter. And a lot of the big cabling manufacturers are going to be using these lab adapters when they develop new models of cable. They want to find out if the cable's working. They could use a network analyzer. DSX works real well for that. It's kind of a purpose-built VNA just for four-pair cable. The ideal way to run this test would be to use a lab adapter. The tricky part of this is this is a little bit time consuming to finish. It helps out if you've got a good technician, perhaps an intern, who can spend some time making sure they don't untwist the pairs, maybe even put a heat shrink tube on this so the pairs don't get separated. But again, that's something that's going to be time consuming and it's not ideal for a volume project. If you're producing cable and you need to test 10 or 50 spools a day, that's gonna take you some time. So I wanna give you another idea for how we could use this test. Again, it's not ideal, but I've got 10 reels of cable that I need to test today. I want to go through it more quickly. We're going to remember that if we use a channel adapter, the mated next from this plug into this jack is not included in the measurement. We start the measurement just up here. So, crimp tool, common plug, Make sure you get your wire map proper. So we're gonna plug in our adapter and we'll push test to start. Now it's not happy and it's giving me a warning message because it says, hey, that is not a lab adapter. It's okay. Well, it's not okay. Ideally, we will use a lab adapter. But again, I'm looking at volume. I've got to test 10, 50 spools today because we're going to be installing 500 spools in this building. Now, while this is stopping me and telling me the adapter's not wrong, it's not a hard stop. For example, I can't run a patch cord test without a patch cord adapter. Would you like to continue? Yes. And let's run this test. It's fast. Four or five seconds, we're done. Now, this particular spool, it's giving me a star pass here on my return loss measurement. That explanation will be for another video. <laughs> so again, version 6.2 of the firmware available on the Fluke Network's webpage, free of charge. You can install it with the new Linkware software. Spool testing, single-ended spool testing. I don't have anything on the far end. I can't get to the far end of the spool. Now available for the DSX 5000 and the DSX 8000.